Hello friends, in the last session we have find out how to find the prime factorization of a number easily with the help of a factor tree method and a common division method. Now we are going to use the idea of this prime factorization for finding out SCF and LCM. So we will find out prime factorization in highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Well, we will take an example. Say, I said that we have to find out SCF and LCM of two numbers. Let the two numbers be 25 and 40. Now what to do? First of all, we will make the prime factorization of 25 and 40 with the help of a factor tree method. So 25 being a composite number only divisible by 5 and what we get another factor is 5 because 5 5 is 25 and now we get the factors of 25 prime factors of 25 and 25 can be written as multiplication of 5 multiplied by 5 we will now go for prime factorization of 40 and 40 being the even number divisible by 2 so 2 is the prime number what we got the quotient as 20 it's a composite number box it it's fine 20 being in a table of 2, I will divide it by 2. What I get is a 10. And 10 is again a composite number because it is in a table of 2. So divide it by 2. What we get other factor as a 5. And 5 being a prime number, we put it in a circle. Now we got the uh, prime factorization of 40 over here. That 40 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. This gives us 8. 8 when multiplied with 5 will give you 4. Okay, now what I am going to do, I am going to write down this prime factorization of 25 and 40 one below other. So what are the prime factors of 25? 5 multiplied by 5. What are these? For 40 is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5. Now, how to find highest common factor of 25 and 40. Easy way. We have already seen that if I take any number uh, or a product of any num any two numbers or three numbers from this prime factorization, I will get the factor of that number. So if I find out the common prime factors for 25 and 40, and if I take the product of it, I will get the highest common factor of both the numbers. So let us find out what are the common prime factors of 25 and 40. So uh, first of all I found that 5 and 5 are common for both 25 and 40 and is only common divisor for 25 and 40. So I will write down that the highest common factor of 25 and 40 is 5. Okay. Now what about LCM? Lowest common multiple of 25 and 40. Well, lowest common multiple, we are knowing that the number is in a table of uh, both 25 and 40 and will be the lowest possible number. It will be in a table of 25 and 40. So if I start making a table of 25, uh, well, I get 25 eggs are 200. And if I make a table of 40, I will get the 45 are 200. 200 being the common multiple of both 25 and 40 and being the first common multiple comes in the table of both 25 and 40. But we already know one relation in between the SCF LCM and the numbers is that multiplication of SCF and LCM will give you the product of the two numbers. So same thing we are using here. What we are doing is that now we are taking first of all what is a common factor. Common factor in this case is 5. Now what are the remaining? Uncommon. Uncommon, I am just putting a webbing line below them. 
So I found that 5, 2, 2, 2 are uncommon. So I write that this 5 will be multiplied with this 5 remaining, remaining 2, 2 and 2. So multiply them. 2, 2 and 2. They are multiplied. Now you can see that this multiplication becomes 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 5 multiplied by 5 will become 25 and when I multiply 2 for 3 times I will get 8. So it's a 25 it's a and now when I am already speak with you that 25 eights are 200 and you'll find that this table this number 200 is in a table of both 25 and 40 and will be the lowest common number for uh, in a table of 25 and 40. So this is what, how we find the LCM with the help of prime factorization. We'll see one more example for finding out SCF and LCM with the prime factorization method. Next example is finding highest common factor and lowest common multiple of both 96 and 108. Now we will use both the two methods for factorization that is being the factor tree method and the combined division method and then we will go for the solution that is finding out SCF and LC. First thing first, we are going to make a factor tree of 96. 96 being a composite number, I am putting a box and then uh, being a 6 at one's place, it's divisible by 2. Uh, what we got is at the end as 48 and 48 being a even number divisible by 2 composite number. So again I divide 48 by 2. On the other hand, I will get a quotient as 24 and 24 again a composite number. So box it. Now 24 again divisible by 2. So I get 2 12 or 12 to 24. So next factor of 24 is 12. So one factor is 2. Next factor is 12. And 12 being a composite number, it's divisible by 2 as even number. So I again divide it in two factors. Well, 6, 2 is 12. So one factor is 2, another is 6. 6, again a composite number made up of multiplication of 2 and 3. And in this case, I got that both the numbers, they are prime numbers. So, no further factorization of number is possible. So, we'll stop here. And we get the prime factors of 96 as 2 multiplied by 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 3. Now, we'll see factor 3 of 108. We'll put a box. And as there are 8 at 1's place, it's an even number and can be divided by 2. Now, when I divide this by 2, I will get 54 as a quotient and 54 is a composite number because it's a 4, it's an even number, can be divisible by 2. So, dividing it by 2, I get another factor as 27. 27 is again a composite number. How? Because 9, 3 is up or 3, 9 is 27. So, I will divide this not with 2 but now 3 because next prime number is 3. So when I divide 27 by 3 I get 9 as another factor. 9 being a composite number I am going to put it in the box and now 9 is in a table of 3. 3 3 is a 9 and I found that both the factors of 9 are prime numbers and I circle them. Now, when I find that both the factors of 9 are primes and the numbers cannot be further factorized, we'll stop here. So, we'll jot down the factorization, prime factorization of both 96 and 108. For 96, I am having 2 multiplied by 2, we are having for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 2 is multiplied for 5 times and then we are having 3 and for 108 we are having 2 multiplied for 2 times and 3 multiplied for 
three times. So two multiplied by two multiplied by three multiplied by three multiplied by three is the prime factorization of one zero eight. As we have seen, if I pick any two numbers from this, for example two and three, it will make two threes are six and six is definitely the factor of one zero eight. Here also, if I picked two multiplied by three, I will find that six being the factor of ninety six. So how to find the highest factor? For finding out the highest factor, we again take the common prime factors. What are the com common prime factors? I am underlining them. Two, 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 two. Now we are having three over here. We are having three over here. Now we don't find any common factors other than this in ninety six and one zero eight. So we'll write down that. Highest common factor of ninety six and one zero eight is multiplication of two multiplied by two multiplied by three. So multiplication of common factors. What we got the common factors as two, two, and three being the prime factors. So we got that the highest common factor is twelve. So highest common factor of ninety six and one zero eight is twelve. So if I go for a table of twelve, what I found is that twelve nines are. We are having twelve nines are one zero eight, and twelve eights are. We are having ninety six. So we find that both ninety six and one zero eight they are in a table of twelve, and twelve is the common factor that is to be highest common factor of ninety six, or uh, and one zero eight, common divisor of ninety six and one zero eight. Now we will go for finding out the LCM. Same method, LCM of ninety six and one zero eight. First of all, I will take the multiplication of common factors two, two, and three. What is to be done to be next? Next, we will find out what are the uncommon factors that are left. Uncommon factors are two, two, and two, three, and three. So take them down. Multiply it with two, two, and two, and multiply it with three and three. So if I found the multiplication of these numbers, I will get lowest common multiple of ninety six and one zero eight. That number which will be in a table of ninety six and one zero eight, and will be the lowest one, and will be the lowest one. Because writing the table of ninety six and one zero eight is very difficult. If I start writing the table of ninety six and one zero eight, it will at least take me ten uh, to fifteen minutes, and then finding out, uh, jotting down the what is the common multiple of both ninety six and one zero eight. It's a cumbersome job. It's a time consuming job. And now we are having a multiplication of simple numbers over here. So two multiplied by two, we are getting four multiplied by three, we are getting one. Okay, next we are having two multiplied by two multiplied by two, that will become eight. Eight threes are twenty four. So instead of doing that, I will write down this as eight, and we will write down three multiplied by three as a nine, and we will find out any easiest way to multiply these numbers. So uh, I found that twelve uh, eights are ninety six, and then we will multiply ninety six with nine. So we will go for this twelve eights are ninety six, and ninety six being multiplied by nine. So how to find out easily the multiplication of ninety six and nine? Without doing much calculations in mind, so I know that ninety six tens are it will give me nine six zero nine nine sixty, and what we have to do is uh, we have to reduce ninety six from nine sixty. That will give ninety six nines are because it's a multiplication like ten minus one, and now I am distributing ninety six over ten also ninety six or One also, so it will become nine sixty minus ninety six. I will get eight sixty four. Now we are going to use a combined division method or a common division method for finding out the SCF and LCM of ninety six and one zero. So as we have discussed earlier, we can divide more than two numbers one at a time. In the common division method, that's why its name as a common division method. So you can see that this six is there, this eight is there at one place. So both are 
given numbers and can be divided by 2. So when I divide this 96 by 2, the quotient is 48 and when I divide 108 by 2, the quotient is 54. Again, we can see can, that 8 and 4 at uh, one's place are even numbers and can be divided by 2. So when I divide 48 by 2, I will get 24 and when I divide this uh, 54 by 2, I will get 27. The quotient will be 27. Now, can I divide 24 and 27 by 2? Not possible. So we will now try for 3. And I found that both 24 and 27, they are in a table of 3. When I divide 27 by 3, 9 uh, 3 za or 3 9 za 27 and 8 3 za or 3 8 za 24. So I get 8 and 9 at the end. Now, can 8 and 9 have any common divisor other than 1? Well, they are consecutive numbers, they are co-primes. No, not possible. So we will stop here. And what we got is 2, 2 and 3. They are the common factors and being the prime factors of both numbers 96 and 108. So we can find out SCF very quickly. Highest common factor is nothing but multiplication of 2, 2 and 3. It is being 4 multiplied by 3, 12. So we can find out uh, the highest common factor and lowest common multiple uh, very easily and very for rapidly with the help of this combined division method. Now, what about the LCM? How to find the LCM? Well, LCM, well, what we are going to do is now we are taking all these numbers which are there as a common divisors and now we are going to draw a L like this. And what I found that if I multiply this 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 and these two co-primes remaining numbers so 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 9 okay make it 12 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 9 and I found that 12 8s are 96 multiplied by 9 and again we got the same situation that 96 9s are 96 nines are, we will write down 96 multiplied by 10 minus 1. Now 96 will be distributed over 10 also, 96 will be multiplied with minus 1 also. So it will create a 960 minus 96 and the final answer will be 864. So we got that the LCM again as 864. We already write down that the LCM is a 864 by the factor tree method. So I found that this uh, combined division method or common division method is much more faster than even the factor tree method. We'll, we'll re, uh, go for one more example by combined division method and we'll see what cautions to be taken while finding out SCF and LCM in the combined division method. Now in this case we'll take three numbers. Well friends we are having one problem in front of you that we have to find out LCM and SCF of 30, 45 and 50 and we are going to do this by using a common division method. So in common division method again we are drawing a cross and we are putting all the numbers at the right upper corner. Fine. Now we will start dividing them uh, commonly. Well you can see that this is a 30, this is a 50 and being 0 at 1's place, they can be divided by 2 also and 5 also. Uh, what about 45? The 45, uh, we are having 5 at 1's place and can be divided by 5 only. So now, as being the combined division method, we are on the common divisor. So we will begin with 5 because 30 and 50 can be also divided by 5. So I get that 5, 6 are. 30 and when I divide 45 by 5, the quotient will be 5, 9, the, 5, 9, the 45, 9 will be the quotient. When I divide 50 by 5, the quotient will be 10. Well, now we are having new dividends as 9, 6, 9 and 10. Is there any uh, 
common divisor for all the three numbers? No. So stop here because now we got a common divisor for 30, 45 and 50 and that is to be the highest common divisor or greatest common divisor GCD or we can also call this as a highest common factor as 5. Now what to do? I want to find out the lowest common multiple also, LCM also. So for finding out LCM, will not stop here. The division will not be stopped. Division, because we are having two numbers such as 6 and 9 that can be divided by 3 also. And we are having 6 and 10 that can be divided by 2 also. So first of all, we will go for the uh, smallest possible prime number that is 2. And well, what are the quotients? When 6 divided by 2, I get a quotient as 3. Well, when I cannot divide 9 by 2, so we will carry 9 as it is for the next div uh, dividend. And 10, when divided by 2, we will get 5 as a quotient. Now, I can see that 3 and 9, they are in a table of 3 and can be divided by 3. So I am going to make sneaks divisor as a 3. 5 cannot be divided by 3, so we will carry 5 as it is. So when 3 divided by 3, we will get 1. And when 9 is divided by 3, we will get a quotient as 3. And at the end, we are having 5 because we carry 5 as it is. Now, you, you will be able to see that we are get all the numbers being the prime numbers such as 5, 2, 3, 1, 3, 5. And the multiplication of all these prime numbers will give you LCM, lowest common multiple. Well, one being not a prime number, not a composite number, we are not taking it. But anything multiplied by one is the same number. So nothing matter to take one in the multiplication. So five multiplied by two multiplied by three. Now it will be now multiplied further with one multiplied by two multiplied by five. Okay, so what is it? 5 to the 10 and we are having 10 3 are 30 and we are having 5 uh, 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 and 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 so we are having 30 multiplied by 10 and the answer is 300 and what we got as 300 is the only number which is common in table of it's the lowest common number in the table of 30, 45 and 50. So if I jot down the table of 30, 45 and 50, the first number that will come common in table of 30, 45 and 50 will be 300 and being known as the lowest common multiple. So we have find out how to find the LCM and SCF of three numbers. Even this idea can be extended for four numbers, five numbers and we can find out the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of the numbers easily and rapidly with the help of a common division method. Thank you.